BMW X1000 now. Let's see how this goes. Take it on the motorway, see how it does. The shieldy type thing, windscreen, shieldy type thing, what am I about? The windscreen is fully up, so we'll see what the buffeting is like. Buffeting, buffeting, buffeting. Let's see how she uh, manages to. engine, oh, maybe it's because the exhaust isn't overtaking it like my bikes, but the engine doesn't sound very nice, it just sounds like a little 1.1 Fiesta or something, I don't know if that's just how it is, or how it's supposed to be, who knows, but uh, yeah, it's not, uh, not overly fond of that. They're all going left, we'll go right. Turns nice.
better you fool. So, let's have a chat about this little chickadee S1000XR <coughs> I think it's a nice looking bike It was very comfortable, you see this seat This one I want to talk about is the seat The edges are like higher than the middle which, unless you, you have to park your bum right to the back in order to uh, feel the full benefit of the seat but then if you've got short arms like me you don't reach the handlebars as well so you have to hutch forward and then this little angled seat kind of digs in the side of your legs so that's, yeah, something and nothing really but that would annoy me um, I did say it sounded like a a 1.1 Fiesta when it was going slow and, it, and that's true but then when you open it up and you hear the engine scream a bit it's like yeah that's good so it's not too bad when you open it up <coughs> uh, yeah mirrors yeah I'm not entirely impressed with the mirrors it could be a bit further away from you so you don't have to turn your head as much but but they're very good they don't wiggle and wobble while you're riding no vibration um it's mega comfortable it's got riding modes and things uh it's got like let's see it's So it's got a little turn wheel thing. Um, but your riding modes are here, that's it. Mode, road, dynamic, rain. You just pick it, then leave it, and it changes. Um, heated grips. Little hand guards, which are quite good on the motorway, stopping the wind hitting you. Uh, what I do like is this little um, thing here. Unless the engine's off, you can't open this. He says, oh yeah, that's it, switch it off. That's it, and then you can open it, see? I love that, and you don't need a key, which is fantastic. So that gets um, a billion pints. <laughs> Looks like a comfy pillion seat. The um, windshield is adjustable. He did show me how to do it, but I've completely forgotten. There you go, look, see. Ding, ding. It's not a lot, but it might make a difference. I just had it up the whole time. Uh, adjustable suspension, so you can change the suspension settings if you want. I haven't bothered because I'm really not that good at uh, I'm not an experienced rider enough to tell the difference I don't think um, centre stand and I'm quite impressed with this if I bought one what would I do if I bought one I'd have the um, protectors on it yeah, stop me uh, breaking it when I dropped it because 
everyone drops the bike at some point or another. The exhaust does have a nice uh, Scorpion or Krapovich or something. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'd do much else. I might get it mapped just to get a bit more horsepower because I'm cheeky. Uh, the gears, so because it's not a sports bike, the gears are very close together. So you find yourself, if you're used to a sports bike, you find yourself changing gear quite often when you're ramping it up the revs. So it doesn't take long to hit the limiter, then you're onto the next gear, then you're onto the next gear. Whereas my bikes, I'm a little bit more. Um, the gears are further apart, so. But for what this bike's designed for, it's perfect. So there you go. That's the BMW S1000 XR. Brought to you in association with the Quadfather. And uh, thank you to BMW. The Motorrad BMW, yeah. They had lent me the bike. I had the test drive on the bike. I just turned up in the day and they said yes. And I, uh, I thank them very much, yeah. Okay. So goodbye everyone. I'm going to take it back and get some lunch. Ciao.